Danny, welcome back to Old Shot Town, but you couldn't have uh, expected to be thrown back into the fray quite so soon. Nah, I've got told um, I was only allowed to play a box for and obviously Jay was struggling early on, so I had to just, I had to come back to professional football at the end of the day, you've got to do what, obviously what you told and what's best for the team. And it was quite a game to come back into, a real rear guard action and in the end a valuable point. Yeah, very good point. I think these have only lost one title in the season and uh, I think it's a wonderful bats game. Like, obviously it was just solid, keeping no shape and we, we had a game plan in wet. And you said before the game you'd be happy to take a point from here, as you said their home record is excellent. Yeah, and exactly, yeah. As, as impressive as Tuesday's win against Dover was, this was equally impressive in completely different ways. Yeah, of course, of course it was. I mean, what a pretty game. He was never going to be on the pitch with the wind. It was very lively. It was uh, bobbly and that, so points good. Yeah, and you come up against a couple of uh, couple of wingers here, Moog, Holroyd to start, and then they brought uh, Theo Bailey Jones on. It was uh, they threw quite a lot at us in the in the second half, particularly. Yeah, but yeah, we just and, stood and, strong. Yeah, and they had a lot of pace. And, you know, obviously, only meant to play for too far before. Uh, that's all I need, mean, but um, you know you've got to just get on with it and play to a game plan, and that's why I did. And obviously, the winners as well. The winners did well today. And how did you feel at the end when they were throwing the kitchen sink? I felt good. I felt fit. I feel fit. Like um, like the deloaded period was just that. Um, that was obviously to recondition my body. I've had, I've had a long time. Um, so I, I felt good to be honest. I wasn't obviously bombing on, and that I was obviously part of the game plan. Um, and you know, I thought it was solid today. Mm. And. Talk us through a little bit about the injury. You say it's a, bit, a little bit of tendonitis. Yeah, it's a little, a little bit. Just because obviously I've been out for a while. But, um, you know, it's, it's complicated. But at the same time, if I get told that I've got to take two weeks out, I'm going to do it and look after my body. Um, and you know, get right for the future. Yeah, it is about the bigger picture. Having been out yeah. for so long, you don't want to take any stupid risks and delay your progress any further. Yeah, exactly. Like coming on in ten minutes today. Well, yeah, <laughs> nah, yeah. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't mind. Uh, it. Yeah. And with uh, we get that the game plan, it, as you say, it wasn't a day for bombing on, which is a natural part of your game. That yeah. defensive discipline yeah, was important. Obviously. Yeah, exactly. And the discipline, you know, even most exciting. And obviously for me and, and John, we do a full back at one, one an exciting game. But at the end of the day, we've, we've come with a point, and, you know, we'll just have to turn it around. Yeah. yeah, and five games unbeaten now. When you came in, the team were. The team were really struggling for confidence and form, but have you, in your time, have you, in your time, have you seen the, that kind of the squad develop and grow? Yeah, definitely confidence as well. The confidence is up in the changing room, but obviously, obviously, no one likes to see manager get sacked. But since Barca took over, you know, he's done very well, and um, obviously the results are true. And as a fellow defender, clearly he he's got. Hundreds of games of experience. Well, I think he's played 11 years in the champ, and he don't do that with um, without being a good player and obviously a leader as well. And he's a leader in the change room on the stage. You know, he's a top man. Yeah. yeah. And what what has he brought in your in your opinion? What has he brought to the team? How has he changed things around? I think he's just um, you know concentrated on the training pitch really. It's, um, it's you know it's changed a lot on the training pitch. Um, not to say that, you know, I just always run into the wrong, I just won't work in, obviously. Bax has done very well and he's you know, got the boys really as well. Yeah, and clearly this, this, your spell at Aldershot Town is part of your rehabilitation back into the course of the first team, we all yeah. hope, but yeah. you've extended your loan once. Is, are you, no, are you yeah, still I'm in contact with, with Andy Orford about yeah, your yeah, development? I mean, I was there for two weeks and um, with the deal-loading period. Um, but obviously, we've had that two weeks, that was not ideal. Um, so, I, obviously, I've spoken to Babs and, and Matt here. And I think I'd like to obviously extend it. They asked me if I wanted to extend it. I said, yeah, of course. Like, I enjoy being here. The boys are good. Um, it's quite local to obviously where I'm living at the minute. So, it's perfect, really. Yeah, so, you're hopeful of extending the stay yeah, further? I think, I think that's the plan. And the game's come thick and fast as, as ever. Tuesday night at, at home to Halifax Town, and yeah. it'll be another difficult game. But as we said, the confidence is high, and yeah. you must be hopeful of being involved. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Obviously, it was, the plan was 45 maps today, exceeded that, so I'll we'll see what happens in Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, but it is about that discipline and not rushing yourself too much. Yeah, of course, but I felt, like I said, I felt good today. If that continues and the players in the past, I'll play on Tuesday.